These next people do not need a long introduction. Ringo Starr and... Uh, of course, is a member of probably one of the most famous, if he not the most famous musical groups in the history of the world, which probably changed musical tastes for, for all times and affected many, many people's lives. Uh, Barbara Bach, his wife, was on our show uh, two years ago, I think almost to the day, and I think at that time we were talking to her about the possibility that she might be one of the new Charlie's Angels, remember? Mm -hmm. Instead, she, uh, they met during a filming of the movie, fell in love, made a movie, got married. Would you welcome, please, Ringo Starr and Barbara Bach. Uh, you have to let on to the band, you know. Always, always, suck up to the band. I like the number they did before the uh, audience came in. You like that? <laughs> yeah, even Eddie Shaughnessy, stand up as one drummer to another. Huh? Give me a little bow. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> It's good to see you. And you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I guess you're never supposed to say congratulations to the bride. You say, I hope you'll be very happy or something. You're supposed to congra congratulate the man for getting the woman. Uh, yes. I think that's fair. Yeah. Well, you have an interesting story about that, darling. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, let's hear it, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of days after we were married yeah. on English television, they had a picture of Richie and I and our two children coming out of the register office. Right. And the person on the newsreel was saying, uh, the person who made the deal in this marriage is Ringo. The lucky deal. The lucky, the deal. lucky deal. Because statistics have it that mental institutions are more full of single men and married women. So therefore, I have saved him from okay, the insane asylum. <laughs> But All right. I didn't know that. Neither did we. So she, <laughs> so she saved you from any. She saved here. me from insanity. In the rubber room, <laughs> huh? But mind you, she's put me through it. <laughs> <laughs> Make enough for it. Mm -hmm. I think the last time we crossed paths, as I said before, when I saw you briefly, uh, I was over for Wimbledon a couple of years ago. Yeah. Well, three or four years ago. You were at the Dorchester Hotel at that time. That's right. So were you? Yeah. Well, you go I every year for, the, for Wimbledon? I liked you, yeah. I'm, I'm a tennis nut. Yeah. Well, I like tennis. Yeah. <laughs> the Queen, I went there one... The Queen place? Yeah, no, no, no. Well, you know the Queen has no... Uh, I went there for the uh, Silver Jubilee, the Queen's Silver Jubilee. Mm -hmm. And Queen Elizabeth, as you probably know, is not a big tennis fan. Uh, don't know that well. Yeah, well, she... <laughs> well, we don't have sleepovers either, but I mean... We, uh, a cookout. But they, find, they got the Queen there. She, you know, she likes horses. Oh, and I tell me. I could not take my eyes off the Queen because... In the royal box, because... They would play this wonderful point. <laughs> what, did, what did he say? They sit in the royal box. I can't answer that. I'm English. And, uh... You, <laughs> God sake. <laughs> I'm not even going to continue this discussion. This <laughs> would you bring in the fresh audience, please? <laughs> Or Remember the last box. time you were on the show, what we were talking about? Was that yeah. true? Which part? Well, we, we were talking almost two years ago, I think almost this month, that you at that time were um, considered to be, or there was a lot of publicity, right. that you may be the new Charlie's angel. I was too sophisticated to be an angel, so I became a star. Yeah. Star key. Uh, <laughs> but I remember your father was a, a uh, New York City policeman. Was he not? Right. Your mother you was... see the marks? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you met during the filming of the uh, of the picture, right? That's right. Had you known each other at all before that? No, we met once. Yeah. Uh, at a party at the director's uh, house. Yeah. And said hello. <laughs> it was so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and we left, and then we worked for two and a half months. Oh, just get this up here. Uh, for two and a half months, saying hello again, and uh, then we said hello. And during the picture, when you decided to get married? No. No. Just the other week. <laughs> <laughs> ten days ago. Was it just ten days? I no. thought it was about just ten days ago. Yeah. Just ten, ten days, days ago. But you asked it's her when you were making... You know. Ten days? Ten days. You can make ten <laughs> days. Every day. <laughs> this is not the first time for either one of you, though, is it? No. No. No, this is our second. Right. Do you have children both from a... Yes. How does that work out? Do the kids meet each other? Did they... Uh... They did uh, when we got married. <laughs> it's a good time they, for it. Uh, they, did they? They hadn't before. Yeah. Because, you know, um, when uh, the mother has the children, usually, like Barbara has their children, and right. my ex wife has their children. And in the summer, the fathers get them. So 
they all go to her husband, ex-husband, and mine come to me, so they never met. But they met last week. Well, they like each other. Yeah. They do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. We've got to do a commercial. We're coming right back. There we go.